What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. 2022, first one of this year. Man, oh man, what a year 2022 has begun with. It's been crazy so far, and it's probably going to get a lot crazier. But since we're in 2022 in the first show, we talked about New Year's resolutions last time. And to make those New Year's resolutions is to stick by them. But some people, they, they really didn't know what their New Year's resolutions want to be about. So, you know what? We want to give you guys some good suggestions for 2022 to help you guys improve your life, maybe your relationship, and overall quality of life. So, let's talk about some of the different things that you guys can do that possibly help your 2022 you out and other people's 2022. Like, you know, your girlfriend, your wife, your boyfriend, whoever it may be. Whoever loves you yeah. and you love them. Yeah, we want to improve, <laughs> you know, the overall environment, whatever it is. So... Here's some different things that you guys can look into and possibly do. Then we can give you guys some examples possibly. So let's talk about it. So the first one is give it a compliment every day. One compliment every day. Either to your loved one, a significant other, maybe a coworker, or whoever it is. This is going to improve their day most probably, right? Yeah, probably improve your own just for being positive. Yeah. You know, listen, I'm negative Nancy, and the cup is always half empty for me. Thank goodness. <laughs> John's cup is always half full. Yeah. So we make the perfect combo. However, you know, it's nice to give out a compliment every once in a while, even to your loved one. Like, oh, I like your outfit or oh, your hair looks nice today. It, it could be the silliest thing that you actually do notice, but just maybe consciously give a compliment to anyone, yeah. you know? Anybody. I mean, this is, it's a pretty simple and easy thing to do. It doesn't cost you anything either, right. right? It's just you you know, telling something, one nice thing to them, and improving their day and possibly yours, right? And like Sharice said, being positive. We have enough negativity out there and oh, what boy. we're dealing with in day-to-day -day life, right? With coronavirus and masks and people and all this other good stuff that we're dealing with day-to-day. -day. So improve by positivity. That's one thing I, I, really, I really do believe in. The second thing is, go someplace you've never been before. Where are you going? I don't know. I got to figure out where we can go and what the mandates are and all this other stuff. <laughs> How many swabs we need to get in there? <laughs> well, we need one before the plane. We need while we're on the plane. Yeah. We need one when we get off the plane. We need one when we get to the hotel. Yeah. I mean, geez, by then my nose is going to be bleeding. Yeah. So <laughs> at this point, you know, look up, you know, look up where you guys want to go and see what it takes to go, uh, what you have to do and all the hoops you got to jump through. You know, before it seemed a lot simpler, right? All you had to come up with was the money. <laughs> and then, you know, pick the place you want to go and the airline you want to fly on. And most likely you were going to have a pretty good trip. You know, now there's some there's some different things and obstacles you might have to go through. But still, go to some place you've never been. And it doesn't even have it to be have out to of be, your I state. I was just going to say, it doesn't even have to be out of the country or no. out of the state or cost you a bazillion dollars. No. You could go somewhere you've really never been. Really like never been. maybe a restaurant you guys have never been to, yeah. you know, venture out. That wouldn't be me and John because we go to the same place no matter what. <laughs> or the same food. We've been doing it for literally 15 years. It's Consistency's quite, key. Quite, quite sickening, actually. But... <laughs> Um, but you know, just do something you've never done. Maybe go to a trampoline place, right? Yeah. Maybe go to a laser cool. tag place. Maybe yeah. go do something. I don't know, just anything. You can go in the. They have this little, like a tree hopper type deal, and you can like you know glide across these trees, whatever. I don't yeah. know. You can go anywhere you just have never zip ever lining. been. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is, zip lining. Yeah. Um, but do something fun that you've never done before. Yeah, I mean, what just one thing? Just pick it and, and go do it, right? Uh, go to that place. Create memories. You know, I'm not saying keep your camera on the whole time. Take a couple of pictures, though. Maybe when you get there, maybe one picture while you're there and one picture when you guys are leaving. At that point, you guys are creating memories that will last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And this is key. Like, every year you guys can look back, remember we did this? And kind of like, oh, wow, cool. Like, because, you know, not that you forget everything that you do, but, you know, some things might take precedence of what's going on in your everyday life at that point, And you're really not remembering some of these other good memories that you had. But when you have those photos and you look back on them, especially with the loved ones or person you're with, you're like, man, this was a great time. Yeah. This is really, really fun. We need to do something like this again. Mm -hmm. Right? And that, that's really, it's really, really key. Um, so the next one. Work out or be active to feel better. Mm -hmm. Not just to be thinner. A lot of the New Year's resolutions out there, people are like, I want to lose weight in 2022. Right. And I can that totally understand, this, you know, because, you know, COVID put on an average of 29 pounds on the average American last year in 2021 and 2020 at that point. So, you know, people are, you know, maybe a little bit more heavier than they used to be or thicker. 
and some girls or guys want to be thicker. So, hey, listen, you got your wish. But at <laughs> that point, you know, really be active to really feel feel better, like really feel healthier, right? Or, you know, you feel those endorphins start kicking in. You know, that's that's a really good feeling. You know, not just to get skinnier or leaner or whatever it may be. Now, this might come along with the activity, so you might get, you know, might kill two birds with one mm-hmm. stone. But at that point, really, really focus on just feeling better, and that's what the activity is all about. Or being healthy, right? Because, I mean, yeah. listen, let's face it. We got this, like, COVID strand B, C, D, five, yep. five, four, four, two, two, one, five, two, two, three, four coming next year, right? <laughs> so um, with this coming along, you want to be healthy because, I mean, yeah. ultimately, not to say if you're healthy, you're not going to possibly get something or you're not going to get sick, but you're less likely, right? to get sick if you can build up your immune system be healthy take your vitamins do what you need to do try to eat right you know just not get and get sleep really gotta get sleep but yeah really working out is just it does it it helps with everything whether it's you know lowering cholesterol because you lost the weight you know hypertensive issues there's a lot of different blood sugars there's a lot of different things that can it can affect directly yeah there's a lot of different things that you're going to benefit from from by being active you know that's it's key being active is so important and people don't understand this um, and that's not just, you know, sitting around watching TV being active. That's you actually being active, right? Moving, uh, running, you know, jogging, you know, climbing or, you know, anything else from working out, uh, rope climbing, rock climbing, obstacle courses, uh, you know, all these different things out there. There's a lot of different things you can do, even when it's cold outside. You guys can go out and be active. So you guys don't have to live down here in the beautiful sunny weather of Florida <laughs> like we do. Thank God. But, uh, you know, I've lived up north, too, and you can definitely be active outside and still enjoy yourself quite a bit. It's really true. So the next one, and this goes across the board for everybody. Look at one way to progress or upgrade your life. Mm. One way you could possibly do this. And this could be as easy as you reading a new book every month. Even if you don't like reading, (laughs) read a, read a book. If you don't like reading, you can listen to audible books. Yeah, I haven't effect. tried that yet. I heard it's like so pretty cool. Literally, you could be driving or you could be working out, you could be walking, whatever it is. You got your AirPods in, you know, you're on your radio or whatever it is, and you can listen to these Audible books and you can learn something. You know, there's different things from, you know, like adventure books you can listen to or you can listen to instructional books and learn how to build something or, or learn how to do something like or that. Or speak another language. Yeah, I mean, listen, even if you don't like reading, go on to YouTube and don't just look at all the garbage YouTube videos out there, but actually learn how to do something from YouTube. And there's tons of videos out there that will give you great information on how to really learn how to do something new that you've never done before. That was the best thing about YouTube, I thought, in my mind. You could go on there and you can learn a new skill or language or something different that you've never learned before. And like previous, like when we didn't have the internet, we couldn't do that. You actually had to go to somebody that knew the information. They had to actually <laughs> teach you how to do it. Or you went to a book and tried to read it out a of a library. book. Right? A you library. To, yeah, you went to a library. You had to go scroll the thingies. You had to scroll, like you had to look scroll it up the numbers, the little where the number thingy. was at, go down those aisles. Yeah, then you had to like wheel the thing. <laughs> this right and you're talking you about go, the aisles moving yes <laughs> because i needed to wheel it you know and that, now it's like you just it's so accessible like it's almost like it's kind of insulting that yeah. the generation that is on the uh, uh, on the come up yeah the new generation um, yes it's a little insulting that they have all this at their fingertips yet they're just sometimes so incredibly lazy yeah. so i mean let's call it what it is i'm not going to sugarcoat it because you guys know that i'm very yeah. straightforward so there you go it's straightforward laziness um but you know but back in the day we had to go somewhere and do something and you know yeah. may- maybe that is like who why we have b- been built into these animals that we are today right yeah but you know the best advice i can give the next generation is you have it at your fingertips oh man i mean you have google youtube i mean whatever tubes and whatever other googles and sites and it tells you everything you can, it's right then and there boom boom bam there's no excuse you can literally find an answer by typing it in within like two minutes on google i know I it, it's text. crazy that's even faster it, it's really crazy because before literally you'd have to go to like a textbook or an encyclopedia or whatever it may be and listen, and this is this is a real simple and easy thing that we, you know, I guess we would take for granted, or we did back in the day, or now we take for granted. 
if you don't know how to say a word or pronounce a word, <laughs> we'd have to go to, you have to go to the dictionary or whatever it may be, and then you have to see it, and then you'd have to like try to, you know, s- F- you know say it out, right? say it out loud, you're like, all right, <laughs> do I have this, am I saying this right? Because you might think you're saying it right, go out there and it looks still like say it, it is, wrong, and then you but it's wrong. Stupid, yeah. But literally, you can go to Google right now and be like, all right, pronunciation of this word, bah, and Play. it will say it to you, and then you can repeat it right back, and you can get it right down. You've just learned a new word. Yeah. Uh, you know, my big thing when I was in high school, it, it, this is what my English teacher instilled in me. I didn't instill this in myself, so, so thank you. <laughs> but um, you know, he he made us he made us learn new words every day. Had to learn at least one new word every day and come to class and be able to say what that word is, say what the definition of that word was, and use it in a sentence. This really upgraded my vocabulary tremendously. And I think that's what's missing nowadays. If you, if you look at the slang and everything like that, these kids are saying, do you know what cat means? We had to, I had to, I had to, we had I to, had to Google look up that. what cat means. Because my son's like, man, that's cat. That's cat. I'm, I'm like, like, what the hell is cat? cap? Is that like a baseball cap or something? <laughs> it's like, you're capped off? Are you cat? You cap? So, cap can't go cap? Cap actually means like lying or wrong. So I had to, I looked this up on Google. Within one minute, I had the answer. It's like, yeah, I know what cat means. And no, that's not cat. Okay? <laughs> so you've just learned something new today on our show. That's how easy it is Don't to learn that word, new guys. things. Okay. Don't use yeah. that, please. Because yeah. these slang words uh, are, are just garbage, right? Like, what it was, I mean, come on. Even the way that they're like using half of the word to say the word, like for, via text messages, like you're like, oh my God, like these shortenings of the word, like where'd you guys, you I think guys I can't even say think, the word? I think I've even come up with like just like saying perf. <laughs> Instead of perfect, right? Just perf, you know, like, and it's it's just a, maybe it's just a habit for me now, right? But I, I usually do just talk to text, and it all comes out just ro- just right. Except every <laughs> once in a while, there'll be that one word that comes out, and it's like uh, I didn't mean it. That, that that is not what I meant to say. <laughs> but so, so yeah, learn something, right? Yeah, um, be know, smarter. Be smarter. It, it's all about upgrading your life in every way, shape, or form, right? Not just materialistic things. Um, but to end this note on this show, since it is a new year, and you guys really want to upgrade your bodies, if you do, you guys can go get on the Titan Challenge. The Titan Transformation Challenge is a 60-day challenge. What we're offering as a prize is free HRT or therapies for six months for free. It's real simple and easy to do. If you're already a patient, you can automatically enter very simply. If you're not a patient, you can too enter very simply and easy. Go to our website, TitanMedicalCenter.com, go down to the Contest Media tab, click that. You're going to hit the 60-Day Transformation tab, click that, and that's going to have all your information that you guys need to do to enter the contest and hopefully win. And at that point, we want to make sure you guys are motivated, dedicated, and we want to make sure we hold you to the accountability of making yourself better for 2022. So go to TitanMedicalCenter.com right now, get in the challenge, and hopefully you guys will win free HRT or therapies for six months for free. That's pretty cool. And good luck. Yeah. And in case you don't know what HRT means, it means hormone replacement therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys don't know our abbreviations, yeah. right? Like I'll go to yeah. I'll go to a CPA and they'll start talking gibberish to me. I'm like, what? Yeah. So I like to break it down for you guys. It's hormone replacement therapy. And if you don't need hormone replacement therapy, you can benefit from all of our other therapies that we offer we too have a as ton. well. So guys, this has been a great 2022 first show. Can't believe it. We'll be back every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. We'll see you every Sunday. Make sure you guys DVR it if you don't watch it live or check out YouTube.com. and Type in Titan Medical Center and you'll see this video and all the other ones we have for you guys. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye.